Ella Ramesh Bhatt born the 7th of September 1933 is an Indian cooperative organizer activist and Gandhian who founded the self-employed women's association of India in 1972 and served as its general secretary from 1972 to 1996 she is the current chancellor of the Gujarat Vidyapith a lawyer by training, Bhatt is a part of the international labor, cooperative, women, and micro-finance movements and has won several national and international awards, including the Ramon Magsaysay Award 1977, Right Livelihood Award 1984, and the Padma Bhushan 1986. <laughs> Early life and background Ella Bhatt was born in Ahmedabad in India. Her father, Sumantrai Bhatt, was a successful lawyer, while her mother, Vanilila Vyas, was active in the women's movement and also remained secretary of All India Women's Conference, which in turn was founded by Kamaladevi Chattopadhyay. Second of three daughters, her childhood was spent in the city of Surat, where she attended the Sarvahanik Girls High School from 1940 to 1948. She received her Bachelor of Arts degree in English from the MTB. College South Gujarat University in Surat in 1952. Following graduation Ella entered the Sir L. A. Shah Law College in Ahmedabad. In 1954 she received her degree in law and a gold medal for her work on Hindu law. <laughs> <laughs> Career Bhatt started her career teaching English for a short time at SNDT Women's University, better known as SNDT, in Mumbai. In 1955 she joined the legal department of the Textile Labour Association TLA in Ahmedabad. TLA and SEWA In 1956, Ella Bhatt married Ramesh Bhatt now deceased. After working for some time with the Gujarat government, Ella was asked by the TLA to head its women's wing in 1968. In this connection she went to Israel where she studied at the Afro-Asian Institute of Labor and Cooperatives in Tel Aviv for three months, receiving the International Diploma of Labor and Cooperatives in 1971. She was very much influenced by the fact that thousands of female textile workers worked elsewhere to supplement the family income, but there were state laws protecting only those who were solely industrial workers and not these self-employed women. So with the cooperation of Arvind Book, the then president of TLA, Ella Bhatt undertook to organize these self-employed women into a union under the auspices of the women's wing of the TLA. Then in 1972 the Self-Employed Women's Association SEWA was established with Book as president and she served as its general secretary from 1972 to 1996. Topic: The Elders 2007 present. On 18 July 2007 in Johannesburg, South Africa, Nelson Mandela, Graca Marshall, and Desmond Tutu convened a group of world leaders to contribute their wisdom, independent leadership and integrity to tackle some of the world's toughest problems. Nelson Mandela announced the formation of this new group, the Elders, in a speech he delivered on the occasion of his 89th birthday. This group can speak freely and boldly, working both publicly and behind the scenes on whatever actions need to be taken. Mandela commented, quote, Together we will work to support courage where there is fear, foster agreement where there is conflict, and inspire hope where there is despair. Kofi Annan serves as chair of the elders and Gro Harlem Brundtland as deputy chair. The other members of the group are Amarti Atisari, Ella Bhatt, Lakdar Brahimi, Fernando Henrique Cardozo, Jimmy Carter, Hina Jelani, Graca Marshall, Mary Robinson and Ernesto Zadillo. Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu are honorary elders. The elders work globally, on thematic as well as geographically specific subjects. The elders' priority issue areas include the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the Korean Peninsula, Sudan and South Sudan, sustainable development, and equality for girls and women. El Abad is particularly involved in the elders' initiative on equality for women and girls, including on the issue of child marriage. In February 2012, Bhatt travelled to Bihar, India with fellow elders Desmond Tutu, Gro Harlem Brundtland and Mary Robinson. 
Together, the elders visited Jagridi, a youth-led project aimed at preventing child marriage, and encouraged the state government's efforts to tackle the issue. A Gandhian practitioner of non-violence, Bhatt also traveled to the Middle East with elders delegations in August 2009 and October 2010. In a blog post written for the Elders website following the group's visit to Gaza in October 2010, Bott stated that non-violent struggle against injustice requires more hard work than fighting, and that it is the coward who uses weapons. The Elders are independently funded by a group of donors, Sir Richard Branson and Jean Olwang Virgin Unite, Peter Gabriel the Peter Gabriel Foundation, Kathy Bushkin Calvin the United Nations Foundation, Jeremy Collar and Lulet Solomon J. Collar Foundation, Niklas Kellström Matzik Swedish Postcode Lottery, Randy Newcomb and Pam Omidyar Humanity United, Jeff Skoll and Sally Osberg Skoll Foundation, Javanka Porsche HP Capital Partners, Julie Quadrio Curzio Quadrio Curzio Family Family Trust, Amy Towers, the N. Duna Foundation, Shannon Sedgwick Davis, the Bridgeway Foundation, and Marika Van Shake, Dutch Postcode Lottery. Mabel Van Orange, former CEO of the Elders, sits on the advisory council in her capacity as advisory committee chair of Girls Not Brides, the global partnership to end child marriage. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Ella Bott married Ramesh Bott in 1956, subsequently the couple had two children, Amimai B. 1958, and Mahir B. 1959. She currently lives in Ahmedabad, Gujarat with her family. <laughs> Awards and recognition She was one of the founders of Women's World Banking in 1979 with Esther Oklu and Michaela Walsh, and served as its chair from 1980 to 1998. She has served as chair of the SEWA Cooperative Bank, of HomeNet, of the International Alliance of Street Vendors, and is former a board of directors of WIEGO. She was also a trustee of the Rockefeller Foundation. She was granted an honorary doctorate degree in Humane Letters by Harvard University in June 2001. In 2012, she received a Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa from Georgetown University and an Honorary Doctorate from Université Libre de Bruxelles in Brussels, Belgium. She also holds Honorary Doctorates from Yale and University of Natal. Ella Bhatt was also awarded the Civilian Honour of Padma Shri by the Government of India in 1985, and the Padma Bhushan in 1986. She was awarded the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Community Leadership in 1977 and the Right Livelihood Award in 1984. She was chosen for the Nawano Peace Prize for 2010 for her work empowering poor women in India. On November 2010, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton honored Bhatt with the Global Fairness Initiative Award for helping move more than a million poor women in India to a position of dignity and independence. Ella Bott was honored with the prestigious Radcliffe Medal on 27 May 2011 on Radcliffe Day for her efforts in helping uplift women, which has had a significant impact on society. In November 2011, Ella Bott was selected for the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development 2011 for her lifetime achievements in empowering women through grassroots entrepreneurship. In June 2012, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton identified Ella Bott as one of her heroines. She said, I have a lot of heroes and heroines around the world and one of them is Ella Bott, who started an organization called the Self-Employed Women's Association in India many years ago. Writings <laughs> 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 Bhatt's book has been translated in Gujarati, Urdu, Hindi and is currently being translated in French and Tamil. Bhatt, E. R. 2006. We are poor but so many, the story of self-employed women in India. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-516984-0. Bhatt, E. R. 2015. Anubhand, Building Hundred Mile Communities. Ahmedabad, Navjeevan Publishing House. ISBN 9788172296789. Bhatt, 